Hey, it's all about quality, not about quantity. Hey, right? Let's get back to another round of Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. You drop something there, Hucky? Yeah, my car keys. <laughs> I, I keep my opener on the car keys. Most people do, I feel. Yeah, that's so I, you know, I can take them out of the ignition before I drink. I keep mine. Uh, Safety first. My good go to is in my wallet. My, my sister gave me the Wallet Ninja. Yeah. It's got like a bunch of screws and all this stuff that I don't use, but it's got a bottle opener. It's like card size. You can just keep it in your wallet, man. It's pretty handy dandy. My daughter's pretty much my wallet ninja, but that that's different. She's like, Dad can have some money. I really need to, I really do need to add like some cricket sound effects for <laughs> some of your horrible jokes. Yeah, that's man. A damn round two of Bruce She'll Day. She'll like Tuesday. it, but she's probably not listening. So. Uh, yes, it is round two, a uh, sequel de Mayo edition. I am Drez. Huck from Huck's Beer Buzz is here. And we just popped open uh, another brew. This one looks uh, super uh, Cinco de Mayo-ish. This beer is actually named after me. It's El Guapo, Agave IPA, and El Guapo translated means the handsome one. Oh, it is yeah. named after you. It is named after somebody. Oh, thank. <laughs> Uh, O'Connor, is that the brewery? Yeah, they're out of Norfolk. They've been around a long time. So they're going. So they're going making an agave IPA. Yeah, but they're just uh, they're just right. They're lo- they're localish. Yeah, they're localish. It's a Virginia beer. Virginia beer. Everybody likes Virginia beer. I went down there and did a tour de Norfolk, and uh, <laughs> they were one of them. Yeah, I was just looking at the label like it's it's El Guapo, but it's got this like dirty looking Mexican on it with an eye patch and like a scraggly beard. He's got the old school like uh, sombrero and He's stuff. Got like a wheat thing in his mouth. Yeah, the hay a sticking out of, of his mouth. No, it looks like it's actually got a. It must be barley actually. Was El Guapo? Is that like an actual like character from the pet, or like a uh, you know an actual f- historic figure or something, or is well, that I, just for I, fun? There only there was some way to find out. If about only there was some sort of magical. Magic device that you could have in your fingertip to search right. such things if and only i could spell <laughs> then I could g-u-a-p-o guapo i could do it faster but okay, um, there's a comic and this, I, the guy's from the comic according to this the handsome. oh it's a comic huh yeah yeah arts media urban dictionary i actually have he's even... the nemesis to the three amigos that was a good Oh, that's movie. right. That is who that yeah. is on the label. Great. That's right. That's right with um, Martin Short and Chevy Chase and Steve Martin. Steve Martin. That's it, Martin Short? That's right, right? Martin yeah, Short? I think that's right. Yeah, Martin Short, that's right. Yeah. yeah, man. That is classic. Dude. <laughs> that's I haven't classic thought of that movie, movie in a long yeah. time. Might have to go home and watch it. All, all right. Well, like, now I'm going to give it a go. The, I can tell you one thing. This The head on this would not go down. I gave it a pretty rapid pour, but... um. I haven't even tried it yet. Is it good? Have yeah, you given it a sip? My, mine didn't do that, so maybe it's a difference in the bottle. You know, maybe the top one on tight. I poured it. I poured it kind of ridiculous. So yeah. Oh man, that's got a good flavor to it. Yeah, it's actually a little hot too. That last one was more hot, but this one's got a little bit of a kick to it. Agave is, as <clears throat> we know, what you make tequila out of. Is that right? Yeah, you cook it up, and then like any other corn or whatever, like corn liquor, agave liquor, cook it up, and you throw it in with some yeast. Well, you to steal it down. To steal it down? To steal it down. You mash it with some yeast. You get it all alcoholic, and then you distill it, and then you drink it. Tequila. I'll be drinking tequila Thursday, I'm Thursday. pretty sure. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what are your plans for Cinco de Mayo, man? I you really don't have on? any. I've been, uh, you know, I've been having some issues with my truck. Yeah. My truck slam up. Well, you'll be able to get around and get somewhere to have yeah, some I got, fun. Yeah, I got my little Hondo. Well, I'll tell you what you, I'll tell you, what you need to do in that Hondo is come... To, I'm going to be out at uh, Mockadoos in Blacksburg. I don't know if you've heard us talking about it, but we are going to be. I'm going to be doing a remote from seven to nine. So you get them out, and we're doing most interesting man lookalike contest. <laughs> so, dude, you're 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 pretty. You're damn near shooting shot. to win. Like, one, I yeah. mean, we and we got some pretty pretty stellar prizes, man. Like hundreds of dollars worth of prizes. We're I'm coming out. down then. Seven to nine on come Thursday. Out. Okay. I think there's going to be like a Dos Equis tap tap takeover, some sort of tap takeover. And yeah, I was going to have like Dos Equis, Dos Equis, Dos Equis. Do, no, no. That's what I was wondering. Because like when I heard that, I'm like, how many different Dos Equis are there? There are a few different like kinds. There's like four though. I've seen. They make yeah. it dark. So I, I'm sure they'll have a I few different. they make a lime. I'm sure they'll have a few different versions of that and some uh, some good food and some some beverage specials. And I got, you know, lots of prizes to win, man. Yeah, you should definitely come out. Can you, do you have any like sort of gear? Like I know he wears 
kind of a, a pimpin coat. Yeah, he's got like coat, a jacket. Kind of like a, almost like a smoking jacket. Yeah, I'll have to look and see. I have yeah. time. I have a couple days. Throw one of those. Yeah, you got a couple days. Throw one of those on, man. You can win yourself some cool stuff. <coughs> and God bless you, my oh, child. Oh, mercy. I'm <laughs> allergic to uh, I got, radio. <laughs> you're allergic to El Guapo, I would say. But yeah, that's totally it's what it a is. It's conflict because I'm not actually handsome. So that's the conflict. So it's making me sneeze. Yeah, I'll definitely be there. I was telling uh, the wife that you were going to do that, and I didn't know when it was. I'd forgotten when yeah, it was. Yeah, this had mentioned it to Cinco me de Mayo, man, of course. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. It's usually a good day to party. I would say so, man. I'm I'm looking forward to it because obviously, you know, I've been on the beer kick. I'm sure you have too. You know, you do the beer kick, but yeah, man, a good margarita. There's a lot of good things to drink on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, shots of tequila. Yeah, it's like a margarita. What's your favorite? Faster. What's your, what's your what's your go to tequila? My go to tequila, strangely enough, is um, Jimmy Buffett's Gold. Jimmy's Gold. You Jimmy's know, it's funny. Gold. It's funny that you go over Jimmy Buffett. You know, my go to tequila is Sammy Hagar's Cabo Wabo. Ah, there you go. Well, if those, I had those those like musicians that like to party, man, if, they if they can I, make some good liquor. <laughs> if I if my pay scale was higher. I'd be drinking the Patron. Well, Patron's good. Or somebody Honestly, else is buying. I, believe it or not, I like Cabo Wabo better than Catron. I don't think I've ever Patron. had the Cabo Wabo. You haven't? And, and I don't mind the, the Jose, not the Jose, yeah, the Cuervo, the Cuervo Gold. Cuervo's also. okay. I am not. I would yeah. take Patron over it's that for sure. It's a little sharp. It's all right. The silver I like a yeah, little better than better. gold, yeah. believe it or not. But you do, come out come out Thursday, dude. I'll, we'll do shots of Cabo Wabo. Done. I'll, I'll, done and I'll done. buy you a shot without a doubt. We'll be on the, you know. Text a cab. <laughs> Text a cab. I know you. I know your sponsors, brother. <laughs> yeah, you know, get home after that. I actually, can walk home from McAdoo. Yeah, did it, did it one night. Lucky you. I can did not it one walk night home. In I a could, kilt. It would take a while for me to walk. Oh, did I? Oh, that's right. You went out for St. Patty's <laughs> yeah. Day, right? So I'm with my daughter. Did anybody ask you what was under the kilt? <laughs> no, they did not. The they did not. Like, we were walking. We're, we're walking home. My daughter and I. I'm wearing a kilt, and these guys drive by. I go, nice skirt. And my daughter goes, damn. I was like, what? She goes, I'm not wearing one. <laughs> I was hoping they were talking about me. <laughs> that happens. Oh, man, that's too good, man. Yeah, but yeah, nah, seriously, Thursday will be a lot of fun. And you should, you, you'll shoe in to win, man. You got, you got that, you got that going for you. I think I do look a little like him. You do. You I'll really do. Oh, and, and I do all the amazing things he does. I was going to go to Mars, but he did it first, so I didn't. Yeah. Why? Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Well, I'll bring some stickers if anybody wants to show up. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Come some. party Huck with us. Huck was here, stickers. Yeah, Huck was here. You got them all over the studio. Yeah, like more Seems than like you every, deserve. Every time, every time he comes in, he's like, I got another sticker. I'll throw it on the wall. <laughs> I put them everywhere. Yeah. No. Nah, well, wherever you go. That's right. Sticker must have gone. That's right. So, we have O'Connor's, O'Connor, sorry, O'Connor, is it O'Connor Brewing, I guess? I think it is O'Connor Brewing. Norfolk, Virginia. So, you said you've been up there, man? Like, I uh, have, I have. They, they, the thing, you know, and it probably is just, they may not, you know, but anyway, I, they, I went to all these breweries, like, in Virginia Beach, they're like in, you know, industrial parks where you have the low buildings and you go in, there, there's all these breweries, really nice. One of them was like Beach Brew and had surfboards on the wall. The other one was Young Veterans, you know, the whole veteran thing. And I like the names of their beers. So like very themed. Very, yeah, very themed, very nice, crisp news. I go to O'Connor and the first thing I notice when I walk up is the fences have concertina wire on the top. And I'm thinking maybe I should park my car inside the fence <laughs> rather than outside the fence. And it was like on... I want to say 19th Street. I would say, is it a sketchy part? Well, it's like, a I number mean, street, you know? Yeah, well. Just saying, who knows? But concertina wire, you know? It like goes around and around with yeah. razor, razor wire. Yeah, yeah. Like a, like a, you know. And, it, and the place is really great. It's like uh, an old warehouse. It's got a huge loan dock, and that's where you go in. So they got like cornhole back there and some other games, fire circle music. And then you go in, the brewery's to the right, and then you got like two levels to the left, plus a back banquet room. And there was stuff going on. Wedding, I think there's a wedding going on. It's a Saturday, the day we were there <laughs> in the back. And there was crash a wedding. Right. Yeah. There's all these. And then this tour bus pulls up, a brew tour for the city of Norfolk around and all. And they come in, and we chatted for a while. Hmm. And so it was fun. But, you know, there, we've been, I've been on a bunch of brew tours, but in Norfolk, you can't drink on the bus. Ah. You know what? We'll just get a designated driver. Yeah, make our own bus. Yeah, I was gonna say, man. Well, nowadays Uber, Uber XL, man, just Uber <laughs> pop, XL. pop around in that bad boy. Yeah, I've Ubered a bit myself. Yeah, you know, here a little there. Yeah. So anyway, I guess we better. Yeah, you settle want to down here? Yeah, we can give it an untap. Man. Well, shoot, I'm I'm ahead of y'all on this one. Believe it or not, usually I look over and you're like 
drinking twice as fast as I am. Well, I got to talk a little more. Yeah, you were talking. You were telling stories. I got to throw them back. Yeah. So I- this is a to me, this is a wonderful beer because of the IPA ness to it. Mm-hmm. You know, we got the agave because I, I like the what is it? Breckenridge makes the agave wheat. Agave wheat. I don't know if you've had you would that. know you know better than I do. It's the first time I ever had a beer mosa was with that beer. So I like that Ooh. beer because I, I kind of like the you know tequila flavor. So too. you go with beer and orange to make a beer. beer yeah, beer and orange juice. Yeah, yeah. That's like a brass monkey. I guess. <clears throat> you had a brass monkey? I think I have. Brass monkey. That's that funky monkey, man. Funky yeah, monkey. The OG brass monkey to me is this is how I learned it, and so I, I won't do it any any other way. You drink, you grab a. Uh, yeah, and trust me, it's not it's not good. But you did it in high school because it was the thing to do. You grab a, a forty of OE <laughs> and drink it down to the la- to the top of the label. Okay, what's At, sorry, what's OE? Old English. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, and then you drink down to the top of the label, and then you pour orange juice, Tropicana usually, but whatever you know, pour orange juice uh, to fill it back up, cap it. Just kind of roll it like on the ground. Usually, <laughs> you, on the ground. usually you like roll it to your buddy. You know, who, you make it for him or whatever. You you chug it down and then you pour oh, it yeah, to your yeah, buddy. Yeah. Roll it down and then by the time it gets to him, you there you go. That's there your you brass go. monkey, man. That's like the OG brass monkey. I'll be sure to try one of those. I, I mean, I'm feel not, free. Not tonight, probably. Yeah, I wouldn't. But I mean, soon. special occasion, the brass monkey, <laughs> without a doubt. So yeah, okay. So now we know about the brass monkey. Yeah, there you go, man. All right, yeah, I digress. El Guapo. So your thoughts on. Uh, the agave, well, agave, just the fact that, that a local brewery had a, a beer for Cinco de Mayo. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm upping them a little of what I might have thought to give them. I'm giving them a four and a half. On wow, because you know it's it's Cinco de Mayo IPA, and most of you Cinco de Mayo's pilsners. And yeah, your beer is cor- not my style. Your Coronas and all that. So That's somebody, generally what the surveys is doing are. it right. Somebody's doing it a little different, a little different, right? Correctly. Correctly, a Correctly. little different. 4.5, you said? 4.5, yeah. So you're actually upping it up than the last one. Yeah. Surprising. I, I like, like it better than the last one. I don't know if I – I don't think I like it better than the last one. I think it's still very good, El Guapo. IPAs usually aren't really my thing. I've actually – they've grown on me as I've done the show and gotten more into craft beers. I can handle the hoppierness more. This isn't super hoppy, though. So it's really not that bad in that department. No, it's late hopped. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, very smooth. It does have a nice rich color. The lacing's good. Everything's good about it. I love the label. I might give them a, I might bump them up a point two five just because the label's kind of fun. Um, and it's got the dude from from Three Amigos on there. Three Amigos. El Guapo. El Guapo. <laughs> you watch the movie. The yeah. irony of El Guapo. Yeah, he was. But uh, you know what? I'll probably you know we'll flip flop. I, I gave the other one a four five, and you gave it a four two five. We'll flip flop on this one. I'll give this one a four point two five. It's still good. Actually, you know what? Maybe just a four. Now that I think about it. <laughs> no, Sorry. Take no, no, no. Take oh, no. Point two five for the label. Okay, right, no, it's a four backs. beer, but I'll give it a point two five because of the label. So, so I got this at the Kroger in Daleville. So just saying, Daleville, yeah, Daleville. That's where I picked this up. I was just looking. I looked a couple places. For you beer. went, all, you went all over the place I trying to find over, some good, no, I was some going good that way anyway. Beer. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where I found it. So it could be. I, I'm not sure who that means distributes to O'Connor. Yeah, I'm not. Know. Yeah, I'm not sure where you're going to find it around here. I mean, obviously, <sighs> Vintage Cellar is always a good spot to check out. But the further Kroger's. west you go, the the, the More less likely. of beer, the further west you get, the less beer you have from the east. So, That's well, obviously. See, I know you could get it in Charlottesville. I know you get into Daleville. You know, Roanoke. I don't know. It's different distributors as you move southwest. So, it should be around here, but who knows? What uh, while we're on it, I know uh, O'Connor. You're familiar with them. What other beers do they got around here that people I, might know? They don't have any beers. No, no. They're just now growing. You know, uh, as so matter of fact, remember they're, they're brand new. We went after them for a triple for the show. And they said they weren't ready to send it this far. So, mm. so yeah. We're, That's right. That we're was out few, of their district. That so. was a few weeks ago. Yeah. yeah. But they did say they were heading our way. So we'll All see. right, cool. Well, keep an eye out for O'Connor. Yeah. El Guapo uh, Agave IPA. I guess it might be a little hard to get your hands on for Cinco de Mayo. But if you do see it, grab one, man, and have but, a few. Quick note. Uh, one of my favorite breweries, Oscar Blues, came out. They're releasing a Cinco de Mayo beer. And I don't know if I'll be quick enough to tell you what it is, but you can look it on the internet. Oscar Blues, Cinco de Mayo. And they just, it's releasing on Thursday. Oh, it's just. It's uh, releasing on Thursday. And Oscar's pretty big around here, so it should show up at all the distributors. Day of? Day of. Okay. That's, they're going to put it out that day, so it should show up. 
So if you're looking for a beer that day, I would say that might be another one that would Man, be good. I, you couldn't have, you couldn't have gotten a pre. Uh, I, don't you worry. I made a note that I need to call some people. Seriously, man, that would for have been every holiday would, the rest this, of the year because we're this, not going to miss the next one. Would this not have been a good way to oh, tell people? I mean, you're oh, telling them, but I yeah. mean, if we were reviewing it, uh, that's what if I'm we were saying. Untapping, hey, I'm, well, I'm going after that market. All right, man. Well, that's I'm going after that market. Two, yeah, yeah. Future all right. goal, all right? We'll do that. But uh, all right, man. Well, Huck, as always, I appreciate you coming you. in and bringing the cerveza for us today. Sigo to my edition of uh, Brews Day Tuesday in the books. Uh, like always, you can hit up Huck at HucksBeerBuzz.com. Uh, he's also Huck's Beer Buzz on all the social media, Twitter, whatnot. I'm everywhere. Taking video of it as well if you want to check out the video and, uh, and all that good stuff. iTunes, yes. YouTube. We're on iTunes, YouTube, all that good stuff. Come see us. Always, man. Appreciate you, Huck. Uh, we will uh, we will step aside and play another tune, Bruce Day Tuesday, Seeker to my audition in the books, and uh, I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah. Makadoos. I'm going to win some Blacksburg. Prizes. Come on out and join us. <laughs> Makadoos. Maybe I'll even get you a shot of Cabo Wabo if you mention Woo. it. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll be right back right after this. Hang on.